Now the men's 4x100 metres freestyle final, where the USA hold the world record at 3.0303. Please welcome the swimmers in the men's 4x100 metres freestyle relay. In lane 8, Japan! Japan swimming out of lane 8 in this men's event, Matsumoto Nakamura, Kawane and Kitanari Mano, the four swimmers representing Japan. In lane one, Canada. Canada represented here by Gazad Kissel, Acevedo, and Kuran, who set a world junior record earlier today. In lane seven, Netherlands. Strong team here for the Netherlands. Stan Pienenberg will lead them off. Kovo, Castagne, and the powerful Tom Gabor on the anchor leg. In lane two, Spain. Spain with Montalban, Dominguez, Lollianes, and Cole Marti. In lane six, Australia. The crowd rolls again for Australia in six, led off by Glyn Southland, the youngest man behind the blocks at 17. Matt Temple, Tommy Neal, and Kyle Chalmers in the water. In lane three, United States of America. The USA in three with Kibler, Casas, Foster and Smith. In lane five, Brazil. Brazil in five, Gabriel Santos, Correa, Pajito and Spiari. They were strong this morning, these four swimmers. And in lane four, Italy. And in lane number four, it is the Italians to be led off by Maresi, then Contaboni, the Plano and Chekhov. Italian team, they bring in check on the backstroke, the world record holder in the long course pool. They were good this morning. They could challenge for the world record as well, so just like we saw from the Australian women's team. The Americans bringing in Smith. Italy and Brazil in four and five here. Oh, look at lane three, the USA and six, Australia. What a final we've got coming up in the men's four by one free. Chalmers coming in for Australia, that's going to make a huge difference as well. So the USA, Australia, Italy making some big, big changes. Chalmers, the world record holder, but he'll be swimming from behind. The Oz is in six. Italy in four. Alessandro Moresi leading them off. The last of the finals this evening, Italy and Brazil in four and five, and flanked there by the USA and Australia. And uh, first, after the first 25 metres, it would be Brazil over Italy, and the Netherlands back there in third place, lane seven. Yeah, good start from Santos of Brazil. You can just see the big body of Moresi, the Italian, six foot eight, is the individual world champion in the short course event from last year and he's starting to take a big lead through this third 25 metres. The Americans are above him, that's Drew Kibler in that white suit with the United States, uh, but it's the Italian team in the lead. We'll see what time Moresi can post. He's been as fast as 45.5, 12 months to go. It's going to be a touch over 46, so it's the Italians ahead of Japan down there touching second. Yeah, that's the surprise in the opening leg there. Matsumoto, a very good leg for Japan in second place. Can they... Uh continue the fight though, that's the big question. Italy in lane number four. Conti Bonin continues to lead in second place. The United States, Cassis now. Back there in third, still Japan, Australia in fourth place with uh, Matthew Temple in the water. Yeah, Conti Bonin's a new face on this Italian team, but he swam lightning fast, 45-7 this morning in the heats to earn his place on this relay tonight. Shane Cassis having a strong second lead. United States, they're in second position. The Aussies in third early. That's a good leg from Temple. They're going to give Chalmers a chance across this last leg. And in the water now is Leonardo De Plano for the Italian team that leads over a body length. De Plano it is for uh, Italy leading it. The United States holding down second. Australia one and a half seconds away in third place.
mates. So the Australians there with Tommy Neal in the board and Carl Chalmers to swim the anchor lead. But all of these teams have strong anchors. Yeah, I'm surprised the United States have used Foster just above the yellow lanes there. He's coming back to the field. He's a 400 IM specialist and he's on a double tonight. So the United States there clutching at straws here. They're going to pass it off to Kieran Smith. But look at the lead from the Italian team. Let's see where this world record is as Thomas Chekon dives in the water. They're three outside world record pace. Oh, surely they can't catch the Italians from here. The Italians' fastest going into the final, and it's a big, big lead. So check on it is. He continues to lead through the 325. He's got just over 50 to swim. It's Italy in front. Big weights for second. Chalmers is flying for Australia, and uh, the United States back in third place. Yeah, still point three outside world record pace. Chalmers is moving through in that yellow cap in a good battle with the United States for silver. But let's watch this Italian team and let's watch the world record line. It is the Italians out in front. Italy, the world record standing at 3.03.03. And it is a new world record. A new world record going the way of Italy. Australia take the silver. United States the bronze medal. It is another relay world record here at the World Championships. Two of them in a row. This pool is fast here in Melbourne. And the Italian team, Moresi, Pontebonin, Di Plano, and Chekon, smashing Woo! that world mark, formerly of the United States from four years ago in Hangzhou. Oh. And the world champions become the world record holders. The depth of this Italian men's team is incredible. We saw Paltrinieri win gold moments ago in the 1500 meters. Now they take out the sprint free relay, led off by Moresi. It wasn't a personal best, but he opened up a big lead nonetheless. And Conta Bonin, new face on this team. He really earned his position. He swam 45-8 before De Plano dived in. Again, another 45-5. And check, check on finishing it off in 45.1, so really consistent across their splits. Chalmers with one of the fastest in the field, 44.9 there for the Australian team, and they'll find themselves on the podium just below the Italians. Haven't they been good across the past 18 months? They've got Martinegi in the breaststroke, check on in the backstroke, and now they're world record holders in this 4x100 freestyle. The official result with Italy taking the gold in that world record time, 302.75, Australia silver and the USA the bronze medal. What a performance by Italy.